Previously on We Wanderlust Co. Life in Malaysia has been interesting to say the least, and we're finally learning how difficult it can be to have a routine on the road. So today we're deciding to break away and treat ourselves to a luxurious high tea in the highest revolving restaurant in Southeast Asia for only $19. treat and so are we because we have found the cheapest buffet in Malaysia's highest revolving restaurant. We are heading for high tea at the Atmosphere 360 here at the Kale Tower. So join us for a $19 all-you-can-eat buffet at Southeast Asia's highest revolving restaurant. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so for information for the high tea we set a buffet, yeah. uh, Malaysia cuisine. So include the buffet, hot coffee, hot tea and plain water we saw on the table. Okay. The beverage you there, additional charge. Okay. Yeah, remember table number S3A and buffet that's ready now. Okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. And, uh, what is your name? Zubairi. Zubairi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I know. The view okay, huh? Yeah. The awesome. okay for you? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine? What do you mean? Sure. Oh, like the pillar? pillar? It's Oh, oh, it's moving. <laughs> moving. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. So as soon as we got here, um, we got situated a nice window seat. That's something that you gotta pay extra for, 25 RM, so which is not bad. I felt a little dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually revolving. It's revolving, yeah. <laughs> the funniest thing is uh, when, we got, when we got checked in and set up at our table, it was like, yeah, is the pillar okay for you? Like, is it blocking you? Later to realize that um, actually we were moving, so the pillars kind of got out of the way. I got really confused because um, the restaurant keeps revolving, and I keep thinking that the next table over is our table. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought we were there, but then we're actually here because the pillar was here and now it's there. Ah, wow, what an experience! Yeah. So many different selections, everything looking nice, uh, and just taking in the views because uh, the views are amazing and it's 360 degrees of it. <laughs> we keep moving, and I feel like I have vertigo sometimes. Like, I look outside and I look at my food, and then I'm like, oh, <laughs> we're here. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the fact that it keeps moving kind of like you don't know where you are in space. Yeah. yeah, initially when we came, I, I actually thought that the restaurant kind of stayed put, yeah. but the revolving part was the outermost part where it just kind of goes round and round and we to stay put. But no, 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 <laughs> it's not it's, that. It's the middle that yeah. rotates around you the shelf. You are moving with it, yeah. so you are just enjoying your food and then you're just getting 360 views. What an experience. Yeah, so we actually got to see the Batu Cave from here. It's got the panoramic views, and then uh, actually we're approaching the Petronas Tower, so... It's basically 360 views of the city. Thank you, thank you, I so appreciate it. Yay. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. And today also happens to be Wasim's birthday. <laughs> Make a wish! It might take a while. That's okay. I have a lot of to <laughs> what happened? It's okay. They have such a wide variety of 
cold foods and warm foods and it's really nice because I came in here thinking that we were just gonna get light bites as you usually do uh, during high tea but they have like full course meals they also have a whole noodle station uh, but our first plate here I got some delicious looking dal my first roti chennai which is kind of like feels like a paratha and then we also have rice and some chili and like some chickens like with oyster sauce and then I forgot what this was I think there's chicken in here yeah. Um, yeah I forgot what that was but we have a cheese pizza and like one little piece of curry chicken because I really just want to get my palette ready try everything and then go back in for seconds possibly because everything looks so good and uh, yeah it's a buffet it's all you can eat buffet and for $19 you can't go wrong we are not just getting food here we also have access to the observation deck and so that's that's an amazing deal because if you get it separately uh, then it'll be more it'll cost you more but then you get a whole bundle for only $19 I think that's great also on this plate I cannot live without my desserts we have red velvet we have a tiramisu cake a mango mousse cake a strawberry cake a pandan cake I'm not sure what this little scone is I'm not sure what this is I think there might be coconut in here uh, it didn't have the label on it but some fruits and let's see what we have got so I actually got some samosas, so the triangle shape and the regular. Uh, fish fillets with some curry sauce. I believe this is like a red bean pastry or something. I have to take a bite into it. Yeah, and uh, the same thing as Shifin did. I believe it's got chicken in it. I'll let you guys know what it is. Rice. And then as for the entree, some roti tonight, uh, chicken curry, pizza. And then trying out some of the um, nasi lemak, the rice, and some sambal. So yeah. And then we got some really nice tasting juice. I don't know what it is. It's I believe it's watermelon, but it doesn't have that watermelon. It's very good. This has to be one of the cheapest buffets that we've ever been to. Yeah. <laughs> With an incredible view and a revolving restaurant. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing deal. This is my first roti chennai and I'm going to have it with the dal that I got. And this is not our usual dal. I really like this because it ha it's still like um, has a solid lentils in there. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. Mm. I think the dal would be my favorite uh, part of this meal because it is just so rich in flavor and it's not overly spicy so if you're not into spice you're gonna really love this but it's yeah full of flavor and I really like it now I'm gonna move on to the chicken curry the chicken is really flavorful as well it's nice and tender and again it is not overly spicy like the taste is just right it's honestly it's one of the best chicken curries I've tasted thus far yeah I'm serious like I can't wait for you to have it but it's really good and yeah let's try the uh, let's quickly try the chili sauce that it came with on the side even the chili is just right I don't know what it is but I think they've really balanced their flavors and it tastes really good it's not super like spicy hot even though looking at it you would think it is but it's just right and it has a slight sweetness to it I don't know where that's coming from but it's like sweet slightly hot chili just right Because 
we have been revolving. So I had to come to the opposite end and start from the end of the buffet to show you guys actually what they have on offer. We have your salads, some mixtures, regular foods. We have three kinds of sandwiches, leg food. This is called gado gado. They have the caribou betik. This tuna salad. They also have a glass noodle beef salad, roasted chicken pasta salad, your bubur pulut hitam. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it looks good. Looks like some type of bean soup. Your dessert. Have your noodle station, the most delicious pizza I've had in Southeast Asia for quite a while now. Corn dal A1. My first sorti chennai. I had here chicken curry with potato. Super delicious. This red bean pow seems to be a hit with Wasim. Vegetable spring rolls, vegetable samosa, fries. We have this curry puff it seems to have I think like a curry paste stuffing in there and fish fillet with mayo sauce that was good too we have karapok liqueur fried mihun noodles I guess we have some anchovies there the sambal with boiled eggs cucumbers and peanuts nasi lemak this is all part of the nasi lemak section I have to go all the way around. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Guys. Alright, so we made our way down to the observation deck. So one thing about it is if you guys do book on their actual official website, you get the 360 atmospheric uh, buffet, which could be high tea, lunch or dinner. And then you also get the observation deck access with it. Yes. So that's a, that's a big plus because there's this... Uh, if you book elsewhere, yeah, yeah. you may not get that opportunity. I think it's separate. So yeah. you'd have to book like the restaurant separately mm -hmm. and the observation deck separately. But so, going yeah. on their website actually Official. is like the cheapest way mm -hmm. to get two in one. Yeah. So, same 360 panoramic views minus the whole rotation. But uh, you get to see the entirety of the city. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And they also have like these um, telescopes that are free to use. You don't have to put in a coin. No, no coin, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can get really up and close to all of these skyscrapers. Yeah. It's really cool. You did that, right? Yeah, it was so close to the point where it, you're not able to make out. <laughs> like literally, uh, the Merdeka is right in front of us. I zoomed in like you could see every panel of the glass. That's how close it is. Uh, but yeah, Nadeka, uh, TRX there, we got Patronas. I think that it's pretty underrated because one, yeah. it's not... Underrated really, for sure. Yeah. yeah, the food was delicious and it's not really busy as opposed not, to yeah. some of the other observation mm. decks we've been on. Uh, this is really nice. Yeah. Like there's lots of space, there's lots of seating area. There are a few more people here, uh, but yeah. it's a nice relaxing in, in environment. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice time out, I would say. Yeah, uh, even up upstairs at the uh, restaurant, um, the ambiance was nice, quiet. You have your own space. Yeah. You get to enjoy your time. Mm -hmm. You get two hours to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for well, that's for high tea. You can maximize your time uh, at the restaurant, two hours, and then come down later. So that's that's a quick tip. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I really thought that we had to do it within, with, within the two, the hours, two hours. But no. Yeah, so yeah. don't worry about like just enjoy your meal mm -hmm. at the restaurant. Yeah. Just have like a good time for yeah. two hours. Yeah. And then later on you can come down to the observation deck and kind of watch the sunset. Let's go explore more of this uh, 360 observation deck. Yeah, so they have this uh, installation of all the tallest buildings in the world. Uh, we've actually visited uh, Tokyo and seen the Tokyo Sky Tree. Stayed by the uh, Canton Tower and it glows just like that. It changes color just like that. Yeah. Uh, Shanghai, yeah, this one's a really nice one. Uh, I've seen drone shots of it. It looks 
than from, from Ariel. And oh. we are here today. And, and, and we are here today. Yeah. We're literally like, has to be standing right here. Yeah. <laughs> We can see Lord Morgan at the Batu Caves from here. It's incredible! <laughs> Sunset and crowds are gathering behind me. It seems like that the dinner time is probably more popular, but we found that we really enjoyed our uh, high tea here at the Atmosphere 360. And it seems like that high tea was a little bit more laid back with less people. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are coming for dinner just so they can see the city skyline uh, illuminated at night. Uh, but we had a, a wonderful time. Uh, it was quieter and the observation deck had way less people. So it's really your preference on when you'd like to come. We're so happy we got to check this off our list of all the amazing things to do here in Portland. Yeah, we had such an amazing day. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, wherever you go, don't forget to like. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Next on New Wanderlust Come. As you come in, you're going to get yeah. that whip of durian up your nostrils. Be okay with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah.